Hi, today I'm going to be discussing some new options for you to, as you consider preventative medications for hair loss. Now, as we all know, the finasteride or Propecia has been around for many years and has been very helpful for patients, as well as the Rogaine or Minoxidil has been available as well. Now, a lot of patients have taken these over the years and have had great results and has been very helpful to maintain the hair that they have. The problem that I encounter that many patients come to me um, saying is that I don't want to take pills, doc, or the topical minoxidil is just a pain to apply or it's causing an irritation. So some of, those, some of those problems we want to try to get around for you. So thankfully today there are more options available for you. Um, I encourage many patients, especially younger patients or patients that are thinking about surgery to at least consider your options. Uh, consider if some of these might be for you. So for instance, with regards to the minoxidil, a lot of the problems that patients were, were experiencing was it either irritated their scalp when they applied it or they just didn't like to do it twice a day. It can be kind of a burden to kind of apply this morning and night. Sometimes it could get onto your bed pillow, those types of things, or, or come into conflict with your hairstyling uh, techniques. So we have um, available uh, a pill form of minoxidil now that's been prescribed uh, for a number of years now. And um, it's once a day, very convenient, works very well, and is generic, so the price has become very low. So that's one option for patients, is the oral minoxidil. Now, as far as the uh, Propecia goes, um, or finasteride, uh, that's the pill form, and some patients are concerned about just taking an oral medication in general, or they're concerned about side effects, which for some patients, <clears throat> they have sides, can have side effects. Now, thankfully, we have newer versions of a topical formulation, which, is, it's, which has been available for a number of years, and I've had fantastic success with patients of mine who have had side effects, or patients that are just concerned about oral, and they would go to a topical formulation of uh, the finasteride. So we've kind of flip-flopped the minoxidil and the Propecia. Um, so if you're interested in the, in the finasteride or Propecia, um, and you don't want, you're concerned about side effects, a topical formulation um, is possible. I would recommend speaking to your, your hair transplant surgeon or physician and asking him about those options, as well as the um, oral option for the minoxidil. Even further down the line, there may be some formulations available which combine both in one in a topical formulation, which might even be more convenient for you. So I encourage you to look for that uh, because if you're interested um, for improving your hair or maintaining your hair, I believe there should be an option out there for you. Thank you.